Trade quick tips. Sharpen your skills. In this Schrade Quick Tip video, we're going to talk about big blade safety and how to get the most out of your machete, bolo, or parang without hurting yourself or others. So stick around to discover 5 tips for effective and safe use of your favorite large knife or chopping blade. A lanyard can be attached to the handle of a knife or chopper, like our Schrade SCH Bolo. Lanyards add confidence to your blows during heavy chopping tasks as they keep the blade from slipping from your grip, lowering the risk of injuring yourself or others. On a smaller knife, wrap the lanyard around your hand to allow for a grip further back on the knife handle when facing a large chopping task. Your lanyard should be multifunctional, as everything in your survival kit should be. Keeping this in mind, we recommend using 550 paracord or other high quality load bearing cordage when making your lanyard so that the cordage can be used for other bushcraft and camp tasks in a pinch. Prefer something other than a lanyard? Some larger style chopping blades like our Schrade SCMA CH22 feature a stout finger guard which ensures a firm, no slip grip even when a lanyard is not in use. Whenever performing chopping or splitting tasks, be extremely mindful of the path your blade must travel. Take into account that no one is perfect, and even an expert can occasionally miss their target. Choose to perform these tasks in a manner that is both safe and effective. When chopping a log that is lying horizontally on the forest floor or felling saplings, take a knee or stand off to the side of the target area preferably in the direction of your non-chopping hand. Both techniques will keep your body clear of the blade, even if you miss your target or slip. When splitting, always use a chopping block, placing the piece of wood you intend to split as far away from you as you can on the chopping block and getting down on your knees will help ensure that any slip up results in the blade entering the chopping block and not your leg. When using a knife or chopping blade, be confident, but remain cautious. Be aware of the blood bubble. The blood bubble is any area within reach of the tip of the blade in any direction where a passing person could be at risk of injury if your blade were to slip. Never use a chopping blade after dark or if you're exhausted or angry. This could drastically increase the risk of injury. When selecting a new chopping blade, it's important that you take blade length and weight into consideration. A heavier and longer chopper, while often a more effective tool, could prove to be exhausting or even dangerous if you are not capable of wielding it properly. For smaller outdoor enthusiasts, a stout medium-sized chopper such as our SCH Bolo or SCH KM1 is an excellent choice. A sharp blade is a safe blade. Always keep chopping tools sharp. Working with a dull blade forces you to exert more effort with each blow, which could lead to less blade control, resulting in a mishap or possible injury. A well-maintained blade provides the sharp edge needed for general camp tasks, as well as any unplanned events you may encounter. A good chopping blade is an essential piece of gear to have in the wilderness. When handled safely and cared for properly, a big blade will last for years to come. Schrade carries a variety of survival and bushcraft knives for every budget and lifestyle. To check out our complete selection, visit Schrade.com. Be sure to click the subscribe button above to get updates on Schrade Knives' YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Ways you can connect with Schrade are in the description below, along with some more great tips and relevant info. To discover more about the gear used in this video, check out the links in the video description on YouTube, visit Schrade.com, or take a trip to your local outdoor gear retailer.